my Xtool D1 laser engraver with rotary attachment finally came in the mail, and like every other YouTuber, I'm going to exploit this opportunity to make some cheap content. Well, you shouldn't say cheap, because it was 750 bucks with a discount, and this is not a sponsored post, so it's something I bought off the shelf and wanted to use. Obviously, I didn't really stab the box with the material in there. I opened it from underneath and did a funny YouTuber gimmick editing trick. This kit comes with some pretty cool stickers, but you could engrave those when you finally get the setup. There's a bunch of different materials to try this out on, but you're going to want a lot more than they give. I was super impressed by the packaging. This stuff was in there so tight that I actually had to pull it back away from the circuit board because I feared that it was going to break it if I just started ripping it out. Since I'm still in Germany at this time and we're moving back to Michigan in a few years, I'm probably going to keep all the packaging and repack it for the trip home. Now this laser head is phenomenal. It's got two laser diodes and this little flip down focusing jig that allows you to focus on any surface mechanically. Since I bought the rotary attachment, I did get these little risers. They screw into each other and allow you to lift the laser bed up higher to go over the rotary attachment. Or if you have a large uh, dynamic shaped piece of material underneath, you can use this to lift it up as well. I like how everything threads in, very universal. The rubber feet snap back in, super easy to use. This laser bed is constructed out of C-channel and each corner has three to four screws which allows you to really tighten it down. This is an incredibly sturdy way of building this. Additionally, the C-channel allows you to route most of your wires inside and away from view which makes for a very clean and organized cable management solution. All the plugs are color coded so very easy to set up and they include these zip ties so you can keep the wires away from the multitude of little drive shafts and moving parts they have inside the frame. One plug is left empty, it connects to this rotary attachment right here, and you can plug that in at any time. Now that I have the mechanical portions all screwed together tight and aligned, I'm going to add the laser head. It's one twist screw on the side. This allows for easy movement up and down and focusing. A single plug goes into the top here, and a single plug over to the motor on the left. I only use one zip tie here because I wanted this to have maximum flexibility as it moved back and forth. You don't want to nail everything down nice and tight because it eventually will start pulling on those wires and doing damage. I apologize for the lighting here. The laser was messing with my camera settings constantly, but this is real time, not sped up footage of it outlining the word subscribe because obviously I'm going to engrave subscribe if I'm doing this on a YouTube channel. The rotary tool was super easy to use because it just changes one of the axes, the X or the Y, and allows us to rotate the material underneath the laser instead of the laser moving uh, fore and aft. Since that footage didn't turn out super nice, I decided to just show you the end result. I'm using a third party software called Lightburn, even though this does come with its own software, and I really like the way it turned out. The way that I change the depth and the intensity of each of these burns or cuts is by changing the laser speed and or intensity. I pretty much run 100% intensity at all times and then I will increase the speed to 100% for things like this where I don't want it to cut through the material and then I'll drop it down to 5 or 10% if I want to cut it through the plywood. This is an example of my logo with 100% power and 10% speed. This took about 15 minutes, but it cut a quarter inch into the material. The smoke this produces will also stain the surface, so I sanded this down just before showing you. This other side is 100% power, 100% speed, and it makes it obviously in 10% of the time. I could see using either of these uh, or a multitude of options in between for different applications. I just wanted to show the difference between the two settings I used today. 10% versus 100% speed, both at 100% power. If you're considering buying this laser, I 100% advocate for it. It is powerful, it is fast, and it's easy to use. Thanks for stopping by, we'll see you next time.